All right, and happy birthday to your wife, by the way. Staying in the Big Ten, number four Michigan goes on the road for the first time this season to a place you could certainly say they've struggled over the last six meetings in Iowa. The Hawkeyes have won five of the last six. However, each of those were decided by eight points or less. Jim Harbaugh, though, oh for Iowa, Sam, when it means going to Iowa. That can change in a heartbeat. But nevertheless, does this have the makings of a trap game for Michigan? Oh, it absolutely does. I mean, Iowa offensively is not very good. They're ranked in the bottom, I don't know, quartile, bottom, I mean, 116th, 124th in passing offense and in, and in a total offense. But the, the issue here is going to be, can Michigan run the ball? Iowa has a sixth-ranked r- rushing defense. Last week, Blake Horn ran it 30 times, 243 yards. The week before, he had five touchdowns, a Michigan running back. And so if Michigan can run the ball, they'll be able to find a way to win in Kinnick. If not, it'll be very, very difficult. Yeah, easier said than done, Sam. I look at that (laughs) Michigan offense, and the biggest factor to me is J.J. McCarthy going on the road, his first start. Wendy talked about the struggles Michigan has had, but it's not just Michigan. It's everybody that goes there. It is a tough place to play, and when you look at how uncharacteristic Iowa is as a team, their offense scored 30 points this year. Their defense has scored 16 points. So you get a different kind of animal when you get Iowa at Kinnick Stadium. I will say... Good for Michigan. It's a noon game instead of a night game. That's a whole different animal. But I'm really interested to see J.J. McCarthy against that defense in his first road start at starting uh, at quarterback for the Wolverines. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.